Hello, what's up everybody? This is your lady Afri Newbie and um, I am on my way to my doctor for my results, my lab results. And so I am actually going to share um, my results with you all. Well, only my A1C hemoglobin results. I'm not going to share nothing else with you all. Because, you know, what I do on this account, well, on my profile, is I pretty much share, like, my my fitness, my health and wellness journey with you all. So, um, yeah, that's what I plan on doing um, once I get back, or once I leave the doctor's office. Yeah, so I know my numbers are probably not going to be as low as I as I am hoping they will be because I admit like I said in a few of my recent videos I've been eating bad <laughs> like a few weeks ago I was really eating bad maybe for about a good month I was eating really bad so I don't really expect a high drop in my A1C numbers um, so yeah I'll find that out today um, so I'm on my way there now, and I'll be back, so I'll see you all soon. Okay, so I just made it to the doctor, and I'm here to get my lab results, and I'll let you all know uh, what they, well, my hemoglobin A1C, I'll let you all know what it is. Um, now, like I said, my hemoglobin A1C was like 6.9 back in December, and it's now March. And I know it went up again. I'm not really looking forward to <laughs> knowing what the result is. However, for those who don't know, when it comes to diabetes, type 2 diabetes, your A1C can go up and down, up and down, you know, based off of physical activity level. I'll be back in a minute to tell you what the results are. All right. All right. I just came from the doctor and I... Uh, finished up my appointment. I'm gonna go ahead and discuss uh, what he said about my lab work. So right now my A1C is 7.8 and it was 8.0 back over the summertime. Um, I was in the hospital like around December of 2020 and my A1C dropped to 6.9. So it went back up and you know I'm upset about it but I know everything that I did as far as eating out and lack of physical activity it's just all my fault it's really all my fault and you know I know that I have this eating problem okay I know that I'm addicted to food and he told me that I need to go on a super low carb diet um, he basically told me not to eat any carbs but I but I have to eat some type of carbs because when I went to a diabetic educational class, they told me that I need to eat low carbs and I need to track my my macros, my my carbs. I'll read the labels of these nutrition uh, facts on you know on these labels, but it's just like sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I'm learning to not buy packages with labels on there, trying to eat more of a of a natural type of uh, diet. So, you know, I slack off when I go to fast fast food restaurants. He told me not to go to not one fast food restaurant at all. He said, don't eat fast food. My next appointment is in June. So he told me that I need to get my A1C down as soon as possible because I'm very uh, high risk of uh, getting on dialysis, having kidney failure, um, having a lot of other uh, issues. Um, other than that, my lab work was pretty much fine, but he did tell me that my muscles are distressed and he asked me how long have I been working out and going to the physical trainer and I told him about two weeks I've been attending, you know, going to the physical trainer. So he did lab work on, on my distressed muscles. So I won't know anything about that until the results come back. He said he'll call me over the phone and let me know what the results are. He also prescribed me, well, not prescribed, but um, he, yeah, prescribed iron pills for me to take because my iron is low. Uh, he told me I have fatty liver. With me knowing that, 
it makes me feel scared. You know, I'm scared because of that. And um, he said the only way I can fix the fatty liver issue is if I lose weight. So as you all know, you guys see me doing these videos. Um, I go to the physical trainer Tuesday and Thursdays. Um, if I have to go another day out the week, I will. But he told me that it's very mandatory for me to lower my A1C as soon as possible. So I won't have any other like future complications with my type 2 diabetes. Now, he told me to stay on my diabetic medications as prescribed. And like I said, he said my A1C is elevated at 7.8. I have to make some changes in my diet again i'm gonna practice on eating more of a low carb diet so for the past almost going on three weeks now i haven't had any fast food however um i have been eating um stuff like beans he told me to stay away from beans but you know that's like a low glycemic type of food um beans however he basically said if I eat low carb, I need to eat a you know a really low carb diet and nothing else. I have to learn how to fight the temptation on you know emotional eating and you know eating fast food because I do get I really I seriously you know get tempted to just to just want to go to these restaurants and not cook sometimes. Like sometimes I get tired of cooking and I get tired of meal prepping and I run out of food ideas. And, you know, since I've been diabetic, my cooking uh, style hasn't really been the best. Like I, like, I like foods with carbs, seriously. And so I've been buying, you know, bread. He did tell me to buy like whole wheat bread instead of uh, you know the white bread which I don't even eat like that like I usually eat, I usually eat whole grain bread or I'll eat like um whole wheat sometimes so I don't have a problem with eating bread he told me if I eat bread eat like one slice of bread which I actually do now and um, he said if I decide to eat pasta make sure I get whole wheat pasta and not the you know the white enriched uh, flour you know the pasta that's white so I have to stay away from that so I just want to share my results with you all I have them right here you know keep following me to you know see my progress uh, I'm gonna work very hard for the next three months to lose as much weight as I can and like I said if I have to go to the personal trainer three times a week then that's what I have to do but he told me it's all about my eating um, he told me to eat better basically and stick to a very low carb diet and I mean, I pretty much know the rules when it comes to this diabetes shit. Like I've been a patient for, you know, I've been a patient with him since like, uh, for like five years now, four to five years now. And he actually told me if I don't get things straight, um, I may not be one of his patients anymore because he said he feels like I'm defeating the purpose of, you know, coming there and having you know these bad results now yeah that's pretty much what he said so he's a really good doctor I would hate to get another doctor and start all over again with a new doctor so I'm gonna go ahead and um, end this video and like I said if you're interested in following me and this is your first time uh, watching any of my videos or watching this video you know feel free to um, give me a follow and I will talk to you all soon. Hold on. So I'll see y'all later. All right. Bye.